I'd seen quite a number of James Gray's films. And I think there are so many layers within those family films. Um, and he's a very clever director, very precise director, but also very free to work with. And we set up an email correspondence, you know, and, um, to play a Jewish grandfather. So I had to refigure a few things because I can't do a sort of Brooklyn accent or New York accent. I think I, I know some English actors are good at that. I'm not good at that. And actually trying to learn a, um, a dialect is like having an extra thumb or, or an extra leg, you know, uh, gets in the way. So I created a little biography, which I submitted to him, that I'd come from Central Europe as a, a nine-year-old kid from uh, and the last big intake at Ellis Island, the Great Migration started from Central Europe, the pogroms, and uh, all kinds of people came here, all, all Eastern Europe, and there were the vicious pogroms in Russia and the Ukraine, and Jews were persecuted, and so it was a wonderful opportunity, and um, an incredible cast to work with. I made sure that I knew all the scenes before we started, and what I was really pleased with was the way he allows you to not rewrite, but to improvise within the structure. I'm all for the structure, learn your lines, show up, and know, the, know your stuff, know the text, and then you're free to improvise within that. And he seems to like that style. James, I noticed, he says, I don't want the camera to move, let's keep it here. And, uh, and that creates that intimacy and lets the audience understand, because if you're watching a camera moving all over the place, you think, who cares? Life's not like that. Many years ago, when I did my first film with Catherine Happen and Peter O'Toole, it was called Line of Winter. God, that's 1967. It was my first film, and I remember Happen saying, always remember who's thumbing you to the crew. Always remember and appreciate the crew. And she was wonderful with them. Morning, Lenny, she'd say to the actress, and how are you? You were out drinking last night. <laughs> She, no, she was, the crew loved her because, and Olivia was another one, Lawrence Olivia. Always knew all the crew's name. Now that's having your feet on the ground, I think.